fuck is in this movie? Holy shit! That is all. What is up, Humanoid Nation, and welcome to another episode of Talking Reviews. Today, I'll be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy with spoilers. So, those who don't want to get spoiled, turn this thing off right now, because you're going to get spoiled off the deep end. So, let's get this started. First of all, I'd like to say I know nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy. The only thing I know about Guardians of the Galaxy is when they showed up in that one episode of Avengers Assemble, that cartoon show, where they helped out the Avengers. Even then, I was like, what the fuck is this? A raccoon, a tree. That's basically just made me confused. Like, what the fuck? There's a raccoon that talks and shoots things in a talking tree. That's all I know about them. But since it's Marvel, I'm gonna go watch it anyway, cause it's Marvel. So, Chris Pratt, yes, Chris Pratt plays Star-Lord. When I first heard that Chris Pratt was going to be in this movie, I was thinking like, what, the fat guy from Parks and Recreation? How is he an action hero? I just couldn't see it. And then when he started dancing in the movie, in the beginning, he won me over. And not to mention, later on you get to see that he's fucking buff as a motherfucker. I was surprised to see that. Guy worked out. Also, the beginning of the movie. Me and my buddy were late to this movie, so we arrived like one minute into it. We see this lady on the deathbed, and she's bald and has cancer. And we're thinking like, what the fuck? Did we walk into the wrong movie? We go back outside, it says Guardians of the Galaxy. We go back in. The kid is like going like, no mom, no, 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 I'm just, Funny, what? I'm so confused. Me and my friend just decided to go sit down. Who knows? I thought like the projectionist put on the wrong movie for a second. So I'm thinking like, ah, oh, we'll just sit down and then the projectionist will put the right movie in. So we're sitting there, suddenly the kid runs away into the forest and screams. I'm thinking like, come on projectionist. You're asleep at the job. Where's Guardians of the Galaxy? All of a sudden a fucking spaceship appears and kidnaps the kid. Out of nowhere. And then the movie starts. So yeah, I didn't walk into the wrong movie at all. Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon did an amazing job of this. Because he's fucking a Rocket Raccoon. He's a raccoon that speaks. I don't know how the fuck they made this work. Because you would think a raccoon on paper would fail miserably in the movie theaters. But then you see it on the big screen and he's like awesome as fuck. And he's funny as hell too. He reminds me of like Han Solo. Yes, I'm comparing him to Han Solo because he has his giant Wookiee with him. I mean, the tree with him, which is Groot, who is played by Vin Diesel. Oh, by the way, earn that paycheck, Vin Diesel. Groot says only three words. I am Groot. That's all he says in the entire movie, except in the end where he goes, we are Groot. And I shed a tear because it was emotional. <laughs> Come on, you gotta. It was emotional. Apparently, from what I heard, Vin Diesel said the line in over like every language out there, so nobody else can say it. Way to earn that paycheck, Iron Giant. Batista of the WWE plays Drax the Destroyer. I have to say, Batista steals almost every scene. Besides Rocket Raccoon, Batista does steal every scene because he takes everything seriously and doesn't know what sarcasm is but he's quite emotional too because he lost a bunch of people and he's trying to fight back and then later on he gets redemption plus i'm surprised batista can actually act besides the rock who can actually act batista surprised the hell out of me in this movie then we got zoe saldana playing the green chick i forgot what her name was but you know who Zoe Zaldana is? She's the blue chick from Avatar. Now she's a fucking green chick in this movie. Of course, Chris Pratt is Star-Lord. Glenn Close, I'm surprised she's in this movie because she's Glenn Close. And also she looks like Cruella DeVille. Same hairstyle. John C. Riley, I'm not surprised in there because that guy can do comedy, drama, and 
whatever the hell he wants. He's a very good actor, but they didn't use him much. He was like in the beginning and then at the very end. That's pretty much it for John C. Riley. Ronan the Accuser. I have no idea who this guy is, but he's an amazing bad guy. He was kind of over the top. Also took things seriously. Took no shit from no one. And I love how he just gives him the name at the end. He's like, oh, look at your Guardians of the Galaxy. Thanos is in this movie. Also is a major badass. He doesn't have to say shit because he's Thanos and he knows it. Benicio Del Toro is in this, but only for a little bit of time since he's the collector. His shit gets blown up. And then he's at the end, end credit scene where Howard the Duck shows up. I have to say the people in my theater lost their freaking shit when they saw Howard the Duck. It's not every day you get to see Howard the Duck, man. Also, what the fuck? How in the world do people still not know you do not leave when the credits roll? The credits start rolling. People start leaving. All of a sudden, the, there's an, another credit where you see Groot singing the Michael Jackson song. Well, not singing. He's like lip singing to it and Batista's over there not knowing what the hell's going on. He's just slashing his sword. And the people that walk off all of a sudden stop and are in the middle of the fucking way and decide, that's what I hate. They just stand there. They don't move anywhere else. And then that scene's over, and they all fuck off. More people walk around, walk off. More people walk off, 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 off. And only like around 10 people are left till the end credits. And like, yeah, 10 people losing their shit. It's something. Surprisingly, Guardians of the Galaxy really surprised me as a movie, because I thought this movie was going to fail. Because, of course, it's a raccoon and a tr talking tree. On paper, this looked like the most ridiculous concept ever. But it somehow worked in this movie. Music they put in this movie, oh my god, such classic songs. Hey, hey, what the hell is hey, yeah. The intensity, the drama, the comedy, all worked out in the end. Oh yeah, Stanley Cameo. I'm surprised people don't still know who Stanley is because some people were just silent and the rest of us who knew who Stanley was were like, we're like, ah, Stanley, ha ha ha. Because we're all looking for that Stanley cameo at the end or somewhere in the movie. I was wondering how come no one from like the Avengers made a cameo in there? Like if Captain America made a cameo in for the Dark World, even though it wasn't really Captain America and it was like low key disguised as Captain America, but it was actually Chris Evans. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's worth it to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a surprise hit. Go watch it, guys. You'll enjoy. Anyways, I'm off. Humanoid freak out. Take it easy, guys. Bye.